gosh, I I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Hopefully, the sound is working now. Anne's gonna pop in here any minute and let me know. Um, wow, this is <laughs> this has been such an insanely crazy morning already, and it's only ten o'clock my time. My goodness. Okay, so Anne can hear me. Yay. Okay, hi, Penny. All right, I'm sorry about that, you guys. I just, <laughs> I was, um, ah, oh, cheaper crowds, you know? it It's just been, I mean, you know, everything was fine this morning. When I was checking everything, I was set, ready to go. And then, all of a sudden, my mouse wouldn't work and all of that. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to shoot myself. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But, I got it all fixed. Thank goodness. And I'm happy to be here. So, good morning. Rebecca, hi, Jean. Okay, so everybody can hear me. Nice, nice, nice. Because I am, like, so excited about showing you guys this card that I would have been very, very upset if I would have had to postpone. So, I'm glad that I don't. I'm glad that you guys are all here with me. And we're going to have such a fun day. Or fun hour or so. Okay. All right. So, before I get started on, you know, my business spiel, let me show you really quick what we're going to be making today. Okay. This is a Venetian blind card. Okay. See how cute that is? And then what you do is, now see, I don't know, I might have to show you this when my camera's down because it's kind of hard. But what you do is you pull these just like you would a blind. Let me set it down and do it. And you pull it up and then it shows you your card from the inside. Is that not adorable or what? Absolutely love it. Love it. I love making Venetian blind cards. I especially loved making this one with um, the stamps from Sweet and Sassy Stamps, who is our sponsor for this week. So I was really, really excited about that. So I can't wait to show you guys how to do it. It's so much fun. And actually, it looks a lot harder than it is. You know, it really is not that hard to do. Let's just hope I get through it in, in one piece, right? <laughs> okay, so, before we get started on that, um, let me go through my, my little spiel here. Those of you that, that, you know, that are joining us for the first time, my name is Lisa Rojas, and my business partner, Ann Butler, and I, we own Bella Crafts Publishing which is a publishing company that and we publish uh, a free digital craft magazine that we put out four times a year absolutely free it does not cost you a penny all you have to do is go to our website and sign up and it goes directly to your inbox every time a new issue comes out so Anne's going to put all the links in for me in the comments se section like she always does thank you Anne and um, that's all you need to do. You just head over to the website. And while you're there signing up for the free magazine, make sure that you check out our ebooks. We have, you know, quite a few ebooks that we have for sale um, on all kinds of, of crafting, you know, different types of crafting uh, stamping, embossing, um, mixed media. I, I, we have lots, okay? So make sure that you check that out also while you're there at the website. Because, um, you know, like Anna and I always say every single week, you know, we love doing all the free stuff that we do, but we got to pay our bills too. So we would love for you guys to buy some, mag you know, buy some ebooks. That would be awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm like in such a goofy mood today. I think I finally got some good sleep last night and. I, I think it like made my head a little crazy but anyways I I'm digressing okay so also <laughs> um, our do you love to craft group we have a do you love to craft group on Facebook which again and will put the links in for me and that is you know just 
come join us and you know share your craft ideas your projects your tips whatever you've got going on you can share it all in there we absolutely love when everybody shares so you know make sure that you check that out also and my goodness okay mm, what else well Anne's going to be doing her live um, at 12 p.m. today my time Pacific time um, which is 2 p.m. Central time and 3 p.m. Eastern time okay so she's also going to be creating um, some really fun stuff with some beautiful stamps from our sponsor this week and some foils and she's gonna you know show you some really cool stuff so you want to check her out after I am done okay so let's see we've got all of that um, I wanted to let you guys know too that next week I am NOT going to be here next week okay just so y'all know I'm not gonna be here next week we are heading down to our beach house for the month <laughs> I really really need to go um, but I will be doing my lives while we're down there I'm just not gonna be doing it that first week because we're gonna be getting there right about the time when I'm supposed to be doing my lives but Anne will be here taking hold and she's gonna be doing two lives that day so she's going to be doing um my life at 10 and then also her life okay so um and then i will see you guys the following week okay so i just wanted to let you guys know that and then uh last but not least the winner for um last week's thermal web i will be announcing at the end of my video today okay but today is all about sweet and sassy stamps now I absolutely love this company and I have to tell you guys thank you so much for your help with you know I asked I don't know a, about a month or so ago I asked you guys to put in your favorite stamp companies and you guys have turned us on to so many great stamp companies that I have not dealt with yet I haven't worked with yet so this is one of them I'm very excited that they're sponsoring us today they're going to be giving away a $50 gift card to their store okay so you know what you have to do right like comment and share my video here make sure that you head over to sweet and sassy stamps okay and you know um, give them a like share the love tell them you know thank you for sponsoring us because again we would not be able to do what we do every single week if we didn't have our sponsors so we really love our sponsors and I really want you guys to you know you're so so good and you're so faithful to me and Ann and we love that and we want you guys to do the same with our sponsors so thank you for doing that ahead of time but make sure that you like comment and share um, hashtag Bella crafts okay and you will be entered in for the the giveaway and then Ann will be announcing that winner next week okay so let's see now while I was jabbering away who else popped in okay I see Amy's here hi Amy yes I'm doing well thank you very much I am doing much better than I was a few weeks ago so that's always good right um, Rebecca hi Rebecca I can't remember if I said hi to you before or not Rebecca but hello again and under hi Linda hi hi guys okay and we have some we have a couple new people I see popping in okay Janice hi Janice welcome all right so you guys are in for such a fun fun treat today Wow, you really have been talking and or typing Oh, hi, Gina. Okay, and Gina, Gina, I shared. Good, <laughs> Gina, we love it when you guys share. Okay, so, um, and if I missed anything, hi, Jennifer. If I missed anything, and um, let me know. I think I got everything. I might have missed something, you know, because I'm, I'm a little insane this morning, but anyways. Oh, but I do have one more thing that I wanted to ask of you guys. I would love to know you guys were great sharing all of your information with me uh, with Ann and I 
on your favorite stamp companies, which is how I found Sweet and Sassy Stamps. But what I would like for you guys to do too is share some of your Facebook groups that you love, okay? You know, if you belong to some great Facebook groups that you know that, you know, um, Ann and I would like to, you know, uh, hang out and share our stuff with them, you know, and vice versa, put it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of, you know, uh, some of the stamp, not stamp, some of the Facebook groups, stamping, crafting, whatever, it doesn't matter, that's out there. And um, so I can go and I can check some of these out. I would love for you guys to do that for me if you would, please. Okay, so. All right. Whew. I think I've got all of that done, right? All right, so now. All that talking makes my mouth dry. Okay, so now I'm going to put my camera down and I'm going to show you how awesome this card is to create, okay? You're going to have fun, I promise. All right, are we ready? Let's do it. All right, so down the camera goes. All right. There we go. That's, that's a good one. All right. There, let me push my computer back just a smidge. Okay, so let me show you this really cute card once again. Sweet and Sassy Stamps. These are so cool. Absolutely love these stamps. Okay, so again, here is the card. This is the front. Now, somebody, I can't remember who it was, but somebody I saw in here said that they had never seen one of these before. I can't remember who it was um, that said it. Maybe was it? I don't know. I can't remember who said it. But these cards have been around for a while. I have been making them for years. Um, I actually did um, a Facebook Live on these a couple years ago. So they're really, really fun to make, you guys. And just just you know they're just fun to make okay so here's the front again okay and then we're gonna pull this and then this is what shows the inside of your card just like a regular regular old you know Venetian blind that you put on your windows you can make your card it was you, Rebecca. Okay. Yeah, so you have never... Okay, you've never seen a, an Amy... You guys have... Wow! Okay, well, then I'm, like, stoked that I'm bringing this to you guys today. Because, you know, they're so much fun. They really are a lot of fun to make. Okay, so let me set this off to the side. And then let me show you this adorable stamp set. I love, love, love this stamp set. Not only do I love it because it has to do with camping, and you guys all know that I love my RV and I love going camping, but I, what I really love about this set is that you can do it for different holidays, which I thought was awesome. So, you know, it's got a Christmas tree if you want to decorate something for Christmas. It's got pumpkins down here for fall. A Christmas wreath of course I did mine kind of in a summery you know a summery theme um, just fabulous fabulous stamps that and I will be using this again I because I love this stamp set and I think it's really really perfect when it has all of the different you can you know interchange it with different holidays so I thought that was pretty pretty cool so yeah, this stamp set does have my name on it, doesn't it? As soon as I saw it, I told Anne, and Anne just kind of, you know, giggled because she knows what a weirdo I am. But this is what we're using today, and I believe, let me see if I can find, I think it's called Happy Camper. No, yes, I think it's called Happy Camper, guys. Okay, um, but sweet and sassy absolutely adorable so that's what we're using okay so let's get started 
and I will show you how to create this very super fun card. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do to create this, okay, because there's lots of little elements to it. So we want to make sure that we got that we have everything that we're going to need, which I hope I do. Okay. Now there is two really, really big points about the Venetian blind card that I want to point out. Uh, that's very important for this. Okay. And one is the backing that you're going to use for your card. You want it to be sturdy. Okay. That's number one. And then the second tip is how you thread it which I'm going to show you that in just a minute okay but so what you're going to do to start off with okay this is a five by seven card so we've got white card stock and then also a nice heavy piece of cardboard okay and then also a pattern card stock to put on the back to cover the back of it okay these are all five by sevens so you guys already have the, you know, the um, sizes on that. And then you're also going to need two other pieces. This is two inches by five inches, and this is for the valance. Okay? So those are the papers that you're going to need to use. Now what I did to start with already is I took my white cardstock, the 5 by 7 and I started stamping some of my elements on it already. Okay? Now, I went ahead and stamped it and colored it because, you know, I wanted to do it beforehand so it wouldn't take so long. Okay? But, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to mask it. So, what I would suggest is if you're doing this at home, mask it first and then once you're done adding your background colors in, then color your images okay I did it the opposite because I wanted the images colored you know so you guys could see how cute it was okay so the next thing then is to cut out some masks now I use some masking ma magic from Gina K and this is really cool stuff and basically what it is is it is just what you do with this is you take your image on the sheets let me show you again the sheets the sheets look like this and what you're going to do is stamp your images on this whatever images you want to mask stamp it on this and then it has this um, adhesive back on it so you're going to cut it out once you stamp it cut it out and then that's going to create your mask okay so what I did was I cut out masks for my little elements here and we're just going to lay these down on top of our already colored images okay now this is a little you know it's it because the stamps are a little bit little so you know you gotta be careful and of course if you have nails like I do then you gotta be extra careful okay so we're gonna put all these pieces down and then this is going to mask your pieces under okay so when you add your top layer of color you're not going to color over your images okay so we're going to set all that down in this cute little table here and then what I do after I'm done because you can reuse these I put it on a piece of window plastic and then I save it inside my package okay that's just extra tip for you there okay so once you have this mask then the next thing that we're going to do, let me grab my inks over here. We're going to ink up the background, okay? 
So, we're going to take these awesome new brushes. These are from Pink and Main. I showed you guys these uh, a few weeks ago. These are absolutely, in my opinion, the best new brushes on the market. Okay? Just saying. They're very, very cool. Okay, so we're going to take some ink here and then we're going to add it to our background. Okay? So as you can see, while I'm adding this, I'm going over my colored images and it's not going to mess them up. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of blue up here on the top. Okay, put that aside. I love these two because they have these little housing units that you can set them in, which I think is really ingenious. Okay, and of course I'm using my Gina K inks. Gina, I just saw, I just saw your comment, Gina. You're a glamper. Me too. I love RVing. I absolutely love it. Are these brushes expensive? Um, I, you know what? To be honest, Amy, I'm, I'm not really sure. I think that this large one, I believe, is maybe twelve dollars. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, I can look though and let you know afterwards. Okay, but you know, you really only need maybe two at the most because when you're done with one color, you just clean them off and then you know that the colors don't transfer. Now they have them in this size and then also this smaller size. Okay, so all right, so now I'm going to take this with the green and I'm going to go over the bottom part here okay and you know I, I'm kind of doing this once again in a hurry so I can make sure that I you know get to everything that I want to show you and we're not here for three hours okay so I'm just going to add a little bit of color down there there we go All right, and then I'm going to put this back. Okay. So then once you have that all inked, then you're going to pull your masks off. Okay, and then we're going to put those back on a little piece of window plastic, so then that way it'll be ready for the next time that I decide to use this stamp set. But, you know, as you can see, you've added your colors in the back, and you did not mess up your already stamped and colored images. Although, again, I would uh, wait to color them until after. Okay? But, there we go. Okay? Now, I would have done, you know, maybe a little bit more around the edges, just kind of, you know, give it a little bit more dimension when you do it. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, do it quickly, though. So, all right. So, once you have this done, then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to adhere it to your cardboard here. Okay. And as I said... You want to make sure that you use a nice, you know, a heavy piece of either cardboard or um, mat board, you know, something like that. You just want your back to be sturdy because when you're pulling on the blinds, you want to make sure that you've got a back that's going to hold, you know, uh, hold up to the pull. Okay, so we're going to adhere this real quickly. Okay, to our cardboard here. All right, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna leave this for last. Okay, so once you have this done, then the next thing that I did was I took 
some of the small little elements that were in the stamps, these little stamps that I thought were just so darn cute. And I stamped the flowers and the flamingos and I colored them and then I cut them out. Okay? So, once you've done that, then you're going to take your fence. Now this fence is just, you know, a regular uh, fence sticker from, I can't remember, uh, Jolie's, I think, okay? So your, your sticker fence. Now, this does come with a fence. The stamp set does come with the fence in it, you guys. It's down here. I just wanted my fence just a little bit bigger. So that's why I decided to go with this instead. But this does have a fence in it, which is really cool. Okay, so next thing we're going to do then is we're going to lay our fence down here. Okay, and then let's see. We're going to need a little bit extra over here. So, scissors. Okay, so we're going to decorate the whole inside of the card first. Okay, so you're going to take your fence and adhere this down. Okay, right about there. There we go. And then also your other extension. sure that that's glued on there good okay so then once you do that then what we're going to do is we're going to take these adorable flowers okay and we are going to add them along with some grass now I took some um, grass dice this is from in uh, impression obsession so I just did one in a darker green and another one in a lighter green. Okay, so again, you're going to adhere these onto your fence. Okay, we're going to lay this out. Okay, so we're going to put that one down. All right, and of course, you know, I am, again, doing this quickly, so I'm not adhering these down as well as I normally would. I would normally make sure that they're really glued on there tight, but, you know, for right now, I'm just going to, I'm just putting them on so you can see what it, you know, see what it looks like I'll put together. Okay, so then you're going to add this other layer of grass on top of your darker layer. All right, there we go. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add all of your cute little flowers. Okay, so we're just going to tuck these in. And then add all of these adorable flowers. Okay, so. We've got... Oops. Okay, and then we're going to put, put one here. And there we go. And then we're going to add the rest. All right. And then the other two are going to go on the other side here. Super cute so far. All right. That's, I'm glad you like it. Uh, okay. So we're going to tuck that one in and then one more. Okay. Then once you have that one in, then you're going to add your adorable little flamingos. These are so cute. <laughs> I love these. 
All right, so I just kind of tucked one in on either side of my little welcome mat here. And then you have these cute little images. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. All right. So again, whoops. You want to make sure that you really have yours glued down, guys. Okay, I'm just kind of slapping mine on there. Okay, so now you have the inside done okay so the last thing that you're going to do for the inside of your card here is I die cut this set that says happy camper on it okay so I die cut that and then I added that to the top of my card all right so again I'm going to do this real quick Okay, we're just going to put it up here. All right. There, now it's straight. Okay, and then we're going to add the camper. There we go. Okay. So now you've got the whole inside of your card done. Okay easy peasy there we go and absolutely adorable look at how cute that is with all of these awesome elements in this stamp set love that okay so once you have that done then we're going to set that off to the side for now and now i'm going to show you how to put this together okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take another piece of background paper um, for this I would use now I've used this and then I've also used vellum okay I'll show you another card when I'm done that I did with um, with the vellum okay so this is measures five inches by seven and a half you want that other half an inch on this okay so once you cut it then what you're going to do is you're going to score it every half an inch all the way across and then once you do that then you're going to fold your scores okay back and forth now if you're going to use i would not recommend putting like um you know how a lot of times you guys i put backings on my pattern paper because i wanted a little bit thicker um for this I, I wouldn't do that. You want to use a sturdy pattern paper, that's for sure. Okay, but I wouldn't put uh, I wouldn't put a cardstock on it to make it any firmer, only because <coughs> excuse me, it is good to have the heaviness in it, but because there's so many creases in this, if you use something that is super super heavy then you're going to get your paper is going to split okay especially if you're you know you're adhering it to another you know you're adhering it to the back of your pattern paper okay so i would recommend um either a very heavy vellum paper a heavier weight vellum paper or this is just a one-sided scrapbook paper that i'm using here I did try it with adding a backing to it, but as I said, um, when I would pull on it a few times, it started splitting, and I didn't like that, okay? All right, so once you have it all folded down in your accordion fold, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hole punch here, and you're going to go... <coughs> excuse me you're gonna go about uh, let's see I'm thinking about a quarter inch in okay on both ends so you're gonna cut that one and then you're gonna come over here and cut this other side 
Now normally, because I can be a bit of a perfectionist when I'm working on my projects, um, I would like measure this and, and all of that, but I'm not. I'm winging it. Okay, so now you have this. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the inside of your card and you're going to glue that first fold over across the top. Okay? So we're just going to add some glue here. And if you, you know, if you're not a glue user like I am, because I do, I do love working with glue, um, if you're going to use double-sided tape, make sure that you use something that's very sturdy. Okay? You want, you want your, um, your papers to adhere really, really good. Okay? Alright, so you've got that on the back. Let me make sure that that's on there really good. Okay, now... <coughs> Now comes the fun part. Okay, now this is where I said, this is where you have to really pay attention because this will be what will make or break your Venetian blind cards, okay, is how you thread it. So what I do is I take a doll needle, one of these long babies, because it's got a really big eye on it, and I can thread my ribbon really, really easy. Okay, so what you're going to do when you start this, and your ribbon is about 52 inches long, okay? You want it long enough to where it's going to go over twice. So it's about um, 52 inches. Okay, so let me put this up and away. All right, so what we're going to do here is you're going to start in this bottom hole down here, and you're just going to start threading. Okay, so you're going to pull that through, and then you want to pull it all the way, and you want to leave about a four inch or so tail at the end here, because this is what you're going to use to pull on, okay? All right, so you're going to thread this all the way up. Okay, just like this. Now, <coughs> the other hint that I wanted to share with you when you're creating these is when you're threading this. Now, I'm not messing with it right now, but, um, you know, again, just to save time. But you want to make sure that your ribbon doesn't twist. It will still work, but it's much easier if the ribbon does not twist when you're putting it in. So you do have to, you know, kind of mess with it and finagle it a little bit, but super easy, okay? So once you get up to the top here, then you're going to go through this last hole, okay? You're going to pull that through. Okay? And then you're going to wrap it around the back here. Now what you can do, just to kind of hold things in place, is you can take a little bit of the uh, purple tape and just kind of hold this on the back for right now. Okay, just like that. All right, so now you've come around to the back side. Then you're going to come over to this other side and you're going to come up this top hole here. Okay, so you come up and pull. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did on the other side. You're going to go up and down and up and down through all of the holes. Okay, this part is the easy part. What starts to get tricky is when you have to run that second layer through, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to pull that. And again, we're going to finish it off down here. 
Okay, so you've got all of your holes threaded. Right? So you're going to come up, go around the back, come back down. And then once you get back down to the bottom of your card, then you're going to come around to the back of it again. Okay? But this time it's on the bottom. So you're going to come around the back. And again, you could take a little piece of paper tape, you know, just to kind of hold it in place. Not necessary, but it does make it a little bit easier. Okay, so you're going to come around the back, and then you're going to repeat what you just did. Okay, but now this time when you go up the holes, you want to make sure that you go on top of this other ribbon. So you're going to come under it, and then you're going to go right on top of that ribbon. Okay, can you see that? I'm going right on top of it. So again, we're going to pull this all the way through. And then we're just going to repeat what we've already done. Okay? So up and down. And again, make sure that you straighten out your ribbon as you go along. Because it does make it much easier, as I said, to pull. Okay, so we're going to go up and down and up and down. Okay, until we get to this last hole. And then again, I'm going to go in this way. Okay. And pull it out. And then again, you're going to go back around. Okay, so then you're going to come up on this hole from the inside. Oh, there we go. Okay, so from the inside, you're going to come in. And then, again, you're going to go all the way back down, going on top of the ribbon that you already put in. Okay, you don't want to go behind it. You want to go on top. So we're going to pull that through until we get down to the very bottom. And then you're going to pull it all the way through. All right. Now that is how you create the actual blind itself, okay? So it is, as I said, it's very simple. You just have to, re you just have to remember that you're going to do this twice, okay? And using these long needles makes all the difference in the world as far as I'm concerned for making these. So once you have this done, then what you want to do is you want to check it, okay? Pull and check. We're stuck here on the side. Okay, well, we're stuck on the side over here. Okay, so, but you're going to pull it up, and then there you go. You've got your card, okay? Mine is sticky, but that's all right. Okay, let me show you again with the finished one. Okay, so then you're going to pull it up, and there you go. All right, so once you have this done, then you're ready for your balance, okay? Now, for the balance, what I did, again, another type or another uh, pattern paper, two inches by five inches, and then another blue cardstock to back that with. And to create the balance, I took this punch that I had, which I thought was really cool. Okay, and on the pattern paper, I laid it in and then I just started punching until I went all the way across. Okay, and then I'm 
not going to finish that because I already have another one here. So you're going to end up with it looking like this. Okay? So once you have this all um, punched out, then what you want to do is you want to score it at 3 eighths of an inch and then score it again at 3 quarters of an inch okay and then about an eighth of an inch right on top of the top of the punch there okay so once you have that scored then you're going to take and you're going to lay it on top of your pattern paper okay let me just adhere this down really quick okay so you're going to adhere that down and then just either rescore or just fold it okay whatever is easiest and right now this is crooked because I'm going in a hurry <laughs> but that's all right because you've seen the end project so you know that it all works okay so there you've got there so once you have that then what you're going to do I'm gonna pull this back down Okay, so then what you're going to do, this is here in the back here, this is why it's slipping because this needed, needs to be tight and it wasn't tight so that's why the threads are slipping. Okay, that's why I said tape it down or make sure that you keep it super tight in the back there, okay? So take your balance and on your first score mark here is what you're going to glue to the back. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to glue that right on the back of our card here. Okay. And then, to finish this off, because obviously you don't want your back to be looking, you know, looking like this, right? So then you're going to take the other piece of your pattern paper here and you're going to adhere that to the back okay and then that's how you're going to finish the card off and then once you have your backing on then what I did to finish it all up was I took a couple of buttons let me show you on the finished one I took a couple of buttons at the very bottom here and just tied a knot and then added a little bit of glue in there so they would hold and then for this top piece up here I die cut in another circle out and of course I used Anne's rhinestone genie template to add the, all of the beautiful bling around it because you know you gotta have bling right okay so I added that and then I added another button flower to the top here where I just cut the shank off and put it on and then I stamped the happy camper on the top there now see there you go that's how you create a Venetian blind card it is very very simple to do you know it does take a little bit of time especially because like I said you want to make sure that these are all you know straight and not turned around and you also want to make sure and this is very important guys you want to make sure that your back here is all the way around, okay, and it's tight because if not, your card is not going to pull. So, I mean, it will pull, but it's, you know, it's not going to be as easy and it's not going to be as pretty. So, you definitely want to make sure that you have this tight in the back you know even add maybe using tape is you know is good I've done it without it I did it this time but you know it's up to you if you you know if you're 
good enough to where you can just do it without it, then don't worry about it. But that's how you finish off this absolutely very cool card. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so let me show you another one. This is the one that I've done. And, you know, I've been making these cards for probably 15 years or more. And this is one that I think I have another video on our... Um, in our Facebook group. I think there's another card. Well, I know that I did a Venetian blind card. I just can't remember if it was this one. But with this one, what I did was I used vellum on it, okay, as my um, blind, and then, of course, stamped it, and I embossed it, and all of that, and then, you know, I did the same thing, but on the inside, I, you know, I colored it with different stamps and whatnot. But, again, and then, of course, you add your backing. But that's just a different variation of how to do a Venetian blind card, okay? All right. So, let me pull my camera back up. Okay. Now, I apologize. That might have taken a little bit longer, but it did, I, I, I did get a late start. So, but, you know, you guys, I really, really hope that you try this. It is such a fun, fun card to create. And, you know, I never get tired of seeing people's faces when I do create cards for them. I don't do it so much anymore because I don't really have a lot of time. But just when I create something handmade and I give it to somebody, I just love, love, love you know, the looks and stuff that, that I get from the people. And you're like, how did you do that? Right? So, there you go. Venetian blind card with that awesomely cute, <laughs> cute, cute, cute stamp set from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. There we go. All right, you guys. That is it from me for today. Um, I will not, again, I will not see you next week. I will see you in two weeks, though, with another fabulous project. Uh, I think I'm going to do a tote bag is what I'm going to do down at the beach. Maybe a tote bag. Okay? Don't forget that Ann is going to be live in just about an hour. Okay? So make sure that you come back and join us for that. She's going to show you um, some other ways to use some other stamps from Sweet and Sassy. And don't forget, too, for the giveaway like comment and share my video make sure that you like sweet and sassy stamp um facebook page check out their website you guys they have adorable stuff they really really do and don't forget to hashtag bella crafts okay that's important all right so that's it for me i just need to announce the winner from last week um which was the product package from Thermoweb. And the winner for that is Linda Weber. Or, what, I'm not... I think it's Linda Weber is how you pronounce the last name. Okay, so congratulations! Congratulations, congratulations. I will be in contact with you over your win. So congratulations there. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I had such a great time today. I'm sorry again for the late start. But I hope that it was worth it for you. I hope that you enjoyed, you know, creating this card as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. So you guys have an awesome couple of weeks because I won't see you. Um, but until then, I want you all to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. It really is. All right, everybody, take care. Have awesome week and I will see you all in a few. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.